Dyson Pizza contains descriptions of peril, natural disasters, and kaiju. Content warnings can be found in the episode description. Hello, Wayward listeners. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Dyson Pizza. I am not Brennan Lee Mulligan, and this is an actual play show that follows a band of heroes chasing after Tankai, who is an an asshole dragon trying to burn down the world. And we're wow, this is this is going real swell. <laughs> we're on the island of Noro, where our heroes have encountered all manner of issues, problems, and you know, corrupted guardians on their quest to just try and help Driftwood's mom have a really good festival of Mitra. And my name is Derek, he and pronouns. I am the guide for our lovable band of heroes. Hello, hello. I am also not Brennan Lee Mulligan. I'm Maya Worrell, they, them pronouns, please. And I play Zaba, the party's naturalist, mask guardian Kokuru, band and chosen, self-proclaimed releaser of Tang Kai, hater of Scallop, but somehow not in this this next combat with Scallop. I'm, I'm asleep, I'm asleep. Sleeping. Big yikes, folks, is also not Brendan Lee Mulligan. My name is Justin, he, him pronouns. I'll be playing Driftwood. They, them pronouns. Driftwood is the party doctor who is inches away from the end of their life, just recently having accept guardianship. Uh, goal. Brendan Lee Mulligan, who? Anyways, I'm Kyla, um, they, them, theirs pronouns, and I play Erneas, or Ernie for short, a skilled spy having some difficulties in their career path of choice. Also, they, them, theirs pronouns. Never seen without their red lens goggles, trusty sword, and wondering what Scallop's deal is. As usual, we are playing Quest, a rules light system by the Adventure Guild. Everything we will roll will be with the D20, and I kind of already gave the last time on. Our heroes are not in a good position right now. Scallop just busted into his own place and caught Driftwood red handed trying to snoop around in his place. So that's where we pick up. Scallop grins at you, Driftwood devilishly eyes glowing Driftwood Driftwood smiles back and tries their best to gleam their eyes as well 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 Driftwood isn't it old scallop and scallop immediately lunges for you oh god okay I'm getting up I'm getting up I'm getting up Uh, can Uh, I yeah well, oh, yeah, you can sneak attack. Yeah, and, let's do that. Because you're engaged, yeah, and you're from the shadows. <sighs> from the shadows comes Ern- Ernie. The yes. Truth and okay. violence. <laughs> so we, oh, we get more AP this. We get more AP. I yes, oh, yeah, everyone that. gets five AP. Oh. So, I mean, not that, not that uh, Zaba can use it right now, but yeah, so sneak attack once per round, a nearby foe attacks a creature. When a near- oh yeah, when a nearby foe attacks a creature other than you, Driftwood, uh, you can exploit their focus. Um, they're not a commoner or minion, so I don't think I can incapacitate him. But nope. um, I'm gonna make a basic attack. Cool. Roll me a d20. Or wait, you spent well, the moves. That means you just make a successful basic attack. Yeah, you may immediately yes. move. Yeah, I don't see anything about dice rolling. Cool. Yeah, you deal two points of damage with your sword to Scallop as you leap out of the shadows and stab Scallop in the back. I, oh yeah yeah you leap out of the shadows and stab scallop in the back with your blade scallop wow. howls in pain and turns to you his neck turning a little bit more than it actually might should um oh there oh, oh. go ahead and ernie roll me a d 20 i was gonna say i hope it's not another well actually i do have other dice but add backstabber to ernie's intro <laughs> i've been stabbed in the back so i'm just i don't know who stabbed me in the back but <laughs> I'm getting back at whatever. It okay, could 18. be anyone. It could be. I uh, got rolled an 18. Cool. Scallop turns um, and gr- and swings at you with his harpoon, but misses you as you dodge out of the way. Ha. Huh. As you're now fighting in the house. Oh. Does this count as a thing that your mom doesn't want us to destroy? Mm, don't think so. Uh, <laughs> does Driftwood's sense magic go off? Yeah. Is it coming yes. from Scallop? Yeah. I would okay. imagine also from the scale on the table, right? Yeah. <gasps> oh, yeah. The golden yeah. scale on the table. Okay. So um, so 
Uh, Scalp lunges in and then gets uh, like interrupted. Yeah. By by Ernie from the shadows. Ernie, yeah. Okay, which means I'm still. I could still make a decision here. Ah, I I kind of want to cast no, but I don't think that the spell is being. <gasps> okay, wait. I know what to do. Um, can I leap for the scale? On the table. Yeah. Yeah. You okay. Can. Uh, I want to grab it and then cast no on the scale, which is uh, the neutralization spell. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, Scallop's distracted fighting Ernie. So you run over, you grab the scale. Um, roll, actually, roll me a d20 to pick up the scale. Mm. Hot dice, hot dice. 18. 18, <gasps> yeah. You remember that as you're about to pick up the scale that the scales were what poisoned Zaba. And right. so you grab a cloth and you pick up the scale and then you cast no on it. Do you just ha- describe to me what you say when you neutralize it? Do you just scream no? So uh, I I concentrate. Oh man, I don't remember if I bring the mask. I don't think I said that I brought the mask with me mm-hmm. last time, but uh, I'm going to say I have it in my pocket, but I'm not wearing it. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, uh, can I can I put the mask on? Uh, no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Don't play no the mask. mask. Okay. 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 So I'm gonna I'm just gonna concentrate all of my um, prayer of Mitra um, into the scale and try to identify like uh, like in my head, trying to like figure out what what magic is going on on this uh, and discern it, and then try to uh, relinquish all of it, like blanket it. And something really flat, neutralizing, comforting, nourishing energy. Um, and then I say no, like really loudly, like project it out of my voice. Ooh. Cool. As you as you project no, Scallop turns to look at you and moves to run towards you. But before he can, all of a sudden there's a massive explosion of air and energy as this, as like pretty much the lodge is blown to bits as- What? These sort of spectral for like spectral energy emerges from Scallop as he's like trying to run towards you. As you see the long, spectral, ghostly body of Tang Kai be pulled out of Scallop. That asshole. And for oh a moment, you God. see Scallop being like, "Driftwood, what's going on?" <laughs> um, oh. And is it starting to rip away? <laughs> what do you do? Zaba, you hear this explosion. I would hope so. <laughs> the whole yeah. fucking village does. Yeah. Wait, so is Sidon being pulled? Scallop. <laughs> Sorry, is Scallop being, so Scallop is being I got pulled you, back. I got you, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> you did this. Okay. Can so, I yeah. also reach out for Scallop? Yeah, you can reach out for Scallop. Yeah, you see that there's like sinews connecting this this like spectral form of Tankai to Scallop. And Scallop is like trying to like crawl away from it as it's being separated. Okay, okay I'm going to help pull him away from the from what's left of Tankai. Cool, roll me a d20. Zaba, you're awake. I'm awake. I hear sounds of explosions. I, I guess I, I go outside with everyone else who 11. has heard this. Yeah, you see Ernie and Driftwood struggling towards Scallop to try and, I don't know, hold Scallop down, and you see the long spectral body of Tankai being pulled away Wait, in, inch like from, by inch. Is this like from like the ruins of the house at this point? Yeah, place? from the oh ruins of the lodge. Like uh, You're on a platform like above the city, and like everyone sees you. And it's like a ghostly form of Tankai. Right, right. You know? Apologies, gross, but it, it does <laughs> remind me of a tapeworm. Um, yeah, you're apologizing to Tankai. I'm apologizing mm-hmm. to our listeners. Who oh, I see. Like I see. The, the to me. <laughs> I'm apologizing <laughs> to Justin specifically. Thank you. Um, what, can what I? Did you get? Oh, sorry. What was oh, that? Mine? Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Where can I? It? Is it possible to help with Tankai being the ghostly Tankai, or is that kind of look like it's well in hands? I mean, being... you can help. How do you want to help? Should I? Sh- should I be trying to remove Tankai from Scallop? I mean, so you see Ernie successfully run up and grab Scallop and like stop Scallop from like getting dragged back. Oh, okay. But it is like strenuous for Ernie. Ernie is like stuck on the ground. So like 
you theorize that yes, in fact, separating this spectral form might be good. Okay. Um, do we think a, a, a swords would help, or is this spe- too spectral? Swords are not going to work on it. Hmm. Because I have um, Sidon's swords. I mean, it's worth a try. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Can I try to slice? Yeah, roll me a d20 as you I'm run up. Happy to. I have three cups on my desk right now for anyone, for you listeners at home. 14. 14, that is a success. You swing the blade through and you and you deal some damage. You sever some of the like connective sinew that is attached. Not all of it, but you sever some of it. It seems to keep, have worked. I have to keep sawing at it. Yeah, yeah. It's like kind of goopy, like liquid, like sludge being pulled out of it. Yeah. Um, why Drift are you? T- oh, oh yeah, sorry. sorry. You no, know, you go. I, I shout to them. Why are you two? Why are you two out, out here? Not the time. <laughs> <laughs> um. Other people awaken to this. I'm assuming. Do we see? Yeah. People I, what the response is? I told you to on stay. Side in. Can I, like can, like I, rubbing his eyes. can I say can I say that yes. Zaba did try to tell Biri to stay inside? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Biri stay inside. Biri did not stay inside. <laughs> Biri did not stay inside. Biri's on top of Sidon. Sidon Sidon went outside and Biri's on yeah. top of Sidon. So technically, yes. um yeah. Biri, wow. Biri had no choice. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, a lot of the villagers, Zorin, Kadana, Tarhun, you know, the kids, Mel, they're starting to come out and look and see what's happening. They're kind of keeping at a distance, though, and some have gone back inside a little <gasps> panicked. Oh, no. Oh, man. So the imagery of this is I, is like the spectral wisp of Tenkai is like coming out or has yeah. come out of. Is of coming Tenkai. out. Yeah. Okay. And it's and like floating towards the sky. Is yeah. Tenkai like the spirit of Tenkai trying to come back in? It's like trying to reattach itself to Scallop. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Um, uh, so I'm holding the scale still mm-hmm. in the cloth in my hand. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm, I want to put my mask on. Okay. The guardian mask on. Yeah. Wow. You put the um, guardian mask on and the crowd audibly gasps. This <gasps> is the most fucking dramatic <laughs> guardian yeah. reveal ever. Driftwood holds it up and is like, I'm Driftwood, guardian of Noro. Stay out of this village. You're not welcome here. Leave Scallop alone. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Very nice. <laughs> Tank Kai's like, Meh. Do you Mandy do, pops any- up. <laughs> you do any- a- a- anything else? No, I just stand, stand firm. I concentrate all my energy in trying to ward off. Cool. Tank Kai this way. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, roll me a d20. Roll for flavor. <laughs> Real fun, intimidate. Seven. Seven. <laughs> no, you don't think anything necessarily happens, but you do notice that the, that the spirit of Tenkai begins to move a little bit faster, getting away from you as you move closer with, with the mask on. Um, the full moon is out, shining brightly on you all. Ernie, it's your turn again. Okay, I'm still... You're still pulling Scallop. Yeah, I don't think I can... I can... I can't take out my sword and pull scallop. So. No. I, I got wanted... it. That's hol- holstered again. Yes, what are you saying? Um, I'm just saying I got it. I'm holding the, the sword all wrong. <laughs> yeah, you got I'm it. I'm holding uh, it kind of like a spear, but it, there's not enough handle to hold it like a spear. So my one of my hands is kind of awkwardly not holding onto the handle. It's just underneath my hands. This is partially the reason why it's taking you so long to cut it. <laughs> <laughs> Or anyone would have cut slides through it in one go. Yeah. yeah. But I'm just going to keep on pulling. Should I just roll for that? No, no, no. no. You okay, don't okay, see. cool. Yeah. Zaba, are you just, keep, are you just um, keeping sawing? I'm sawing. Cool. You're still sawing. Driftwood, how close are you with, with, the, with the scale trying to ward off? So I'd say um, that Ernie and Zaba are right next to in contact with, um, with Scallop. Mm-hmm. And I started off a little bit behind them, and now I start to inch forward towards where 
um, scallop where it's coming out of scallop. Wait, is this coming out of like scallop's chest or it's coming out of scallop's back? Like it's peeling off of his what? back. Oh, so so um, scallop is faced away from yeah. What's yeah, happening? And I'm pulling. Okay, yeah. so I I just start to take steady steps forward, um, like one step at a time towards it and raising it higher and looking mm-hmm. up, like looking directly at um, Tenkai, the spirit of Tenkai. Yeah. Uh, you also said there's a full moon out right now, right? Yes, there is. Yeah. Okay. Um, does the Sidon respond to the full moon in any way? <laughs> Sidon howls with Beery. It's Beery howl too. Beery howls too. Well, a wild. Um, Sidon and Beery, I guess. Sidon <laughs> begins to charge with Beery on his back. Um, Whoa. And uh, Beery <gasps> no. picks up. Uh, Beery picks up a, a piece of wooden debris no. like a lance. Oh my god. <laughs> Beery, I told you to stay inside. <laughs> oh my gosh. And uh, Beery falls off and they're going up the stairs. Beery's like, oh, my knee. And Sidon comes up and Sidon uh, bites um, at the spirit of uh, Tang Kai. Oh wow. And, Does it um, do anything? Oh. It begins to like gnaw a little bit, and with the with all four of you working together, the spirit finally detaches and begins to like ooze up back into the sky, and this sort of liquidy, ga- ghastly form of Tankai's face forms, and just kind of laughs, just a <laughs> as he oh shut up fades away. <laughs> we'll get you next time. Rude gesture. And there is silence as Scallop lays on the ground with just burn marks all over his back. Oh, Um, oh my gosh. Healer? Yeah, Yeah. the healer's awake. Kadana and Tarhun run up and immediately start like treating Scallop and they've already patched up Beery's skinned knee. I was going to ask about Beery. (laughs) Um, But Scallop's unconscious, fully unconscious. Wow. So we're all surrounding Scallop right now. Yeah. Oh man, I'm and there's murmurs because you're wearing the mask. <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> you literally just said you're a guardian in front of all of them. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I, I so in my head, like there's that explosion. There's lots of yelling, spiritual noises back and forth, like working together. And then when the laugh, when Tankai dissipates, there's just the sound of the ocean. Yeah. Right. Remember the moonlight's like casting its light all over us because it's past midnight. Um, yeah. And is there a crowd? Like, who is looking at me other than everyone who's immediately around me? Yeah, the whole village is out. The whole oh village has come out. And, like, you see, like, your mom and your dad crying. Um, crying. And among them, you see Zorin. You see, you know, various teachers, various friends of yours. And you do see Tasia among the faces towards oh, the back wow. of the crowd. Okay. So I kind of just let the, the tides, like, just linger for a little bit. And then I look out into the crowd with the mask on. And I get a feeling, like, though I've been feeling kind of cold it's been cooling me I, I get like a warm feeling from the mask like it's like thermoregulating me um and i s- stick my chest out it's, post- it's a posture that like driftwood has never really adopted before um mm. like head held high like stacked mm-hmm. on top um and i said today is a festival of mitra and we have started with something extremely potent but for now we must focus all of our energy in making sure that Scallop is okay. So for anyone that can help, please set up all the needed things so that we can help Scallop together. If not, please go get some rest. We won't need you until the morning. And the crowd begins to disperse. I clap. Yeah. Someone else in the audience claps. (laughs) Sidon howls. Is it the guy that was that... Scallop was rooting for Scallop when we first got here. <laughs> yeah. <to North. laughs> yeah. Now he's rooting for all of you. Or rooting for the fact that Scallop's alive. <laughs> but yeah, basically, the healers take Scallop away and 
folks kind of like prepare like blankets and food and Scallop's pretty unconscious. Um, he's breathing, but he's not really moving. Um, and the house is that so the house was was mostly destroyed or what is this condition of yeah it's leveled oh geez mm. oh um and some of the villagers actually begin to like rebuild it they begin to like set things up and i'd say that you can either spend the night resting or you can spend the night rebuilding the lodge to some form of a lodge i mean do we even need to do that like, I don't know if I can convince the villagers just to let They're it... They're more like erecting like a shade covering above it. Okay, okay. Try and create a semblance of a of a structure. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm. I mean, yeah. I took a nap already. I can help. <laughs> Beery, I told you to stay inside. Could That could have been, yeah, but been dangerous. I, I was on Sidon and Sidon wanted the help. Y- y- you could have... Well, 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 Sidon can can take care. Sidon, um, although a wolf can take care of himself, but um, you might have been more seriously hurt than a little ouchie on the on your knee. So mm-hmm. next time, keep keep okay. some distance. More a distance. warrior, a warrior knows their own limits. Hmm. Fine, and Beard goes to bed. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Sidon like rubs his head against uh, your leg, Ernie. Good job. We could not have done that without you. It's mm. more in a like uh, I'm glad you're you're okay. It's like oh, I'm yeah. happy to see you. I still kind say that. Like, <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> I but, will yeah. say the good job. I'll say yeah. Well, thanks. We couldn't have done it without you. And yes, yeah. I will okay. say yeah, yeah. So right. so I I guess driftwood like as is happening this makeshift. Mm-hmm. Um, covering gets built over uh, scallop and the healers. Um, I go up to Zaba and Ernie and Sidon individually and just say thank you. Um, and I think there's a sense that like Driftwood, Driftwood is just has just a different energy right now. Um, and uh, Driftwood goes over to see like all of the debris from the house and looks and searches for oh. Yeah, same search- brain, same brain. I was gonna do that. Wow. Yeah, so I was just- gonna say something. I was gonna say something to 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 Driftwood when you said thank you mm-hmm. first, and then you can go and find your silly little. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wait. Well, yeah. <laughs> what were you gonna say? <laughs> I was just gonna say thank you, um, Guardian Driftwood of Noro. Thank you, Guardian Zaba of Kokuru Village. Um, go find your go find your push. <laughs> yeah. So Driftwood digs through the rubble to find the mangled remains of Jambi, um, the the jelly titan plush. Um, it's just like there's there's like cotton bursting out of it, like the seams. It's hardly recognizable. Uh, maybe the face is like pretty recognizable. Um, and takes it over to Scallop, who's catatonic. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, scallops just in a pool of water. You like now looking at scallop, you see that like there are parts of his body that was like covered in burn marks um from where the spirit exited, but also there is a like on his chest there's like a a small like burn wound where mm. maybe he first came in contact with the scale. Um but yeah, scallop is asleep and the healers say that he needs to rest. That perhaps you know, t- late tomorrow he'll be better. He'll he'll be awake, um, but he is alive. Oh, okay. I think uh, I'd elect to stay out there and take shifts with the healers, mm-hmm. um, and who has volunteered to be out there, um, mm-hmm. and then invite uh, Zaba and Ernie to go ahead and take a rest back at the residence if they'd like. Well, I got plenty of rest. <laughs> I mean, I was sleep. You you two were the ones who who didn't get much rest, so Zaba's okay with um, sitting with you for a bit. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, I'm still helping the villagers with the uh, structure. Okay, well, it sounds like we'll be out here uh, then. Um, I'll go ahead and fix us up some... You know, something to wash up real quick just to refresh us. So Driftwood goes back to the ocean alone. 
for a second. Mm. Yeah, okay, so Drifoid goes to, over to the ocean alone, um, and they're still wearing the mask, and they Driftwood starts to kind of shake yeah. and takes off their mask, um, and their hands are shaking, and they start crying before they get to reach the ocean, yeah. just alone by themselves. Mm. Not even Sora is with you? No. Yeah. So Driftwood just kind of like inhales this whole moment, and something along the lines of, it's hard, like the, the beginnings of being needed this much is starting to stack up yeah. almost immediately. And then they go ahead and go to the water briefly and hurriedly just try to recover, get their posture back, put the mask back on and bring a bowl of water over to everyone. Mm. Mm. Can I, can Zava roll insight into like to see if Zaba notices when Driftwood comes back or... Sure, yeah, I guess roll me a d20. Uh, well, you know, I'm not surprised. I got a five, so... Yeah, you don't really see anything. You see that Driftwood is like covered in water, but... I mean, um, the the mask, as we both know, is very effective in obscuring. It certainly obscuring. hides things. Yeah. I think if it's all right with all of you... We can cut to the next morning or like, I guess like during the festival festivities, but not before the feast. I think we'll save the feast for the end and then mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. can do the scene, the next scene, which is we cut ahead, you know, later in the morning, you all have been helping the villagers rebuild and they've begun their, their festivities, you know, the rituals, the dancing, the theatrical combat. And while that's going on, the three of you are hanging out by the healer's hut when uh, Kadana exits, saying that Scallop is awake. Ooh. I, lo I, lo I looked at Driftwood. I was also going to say I looked at Driftwood <laughs> to see your reaction. I think, uh, yeah, Driftwood just takes a moment to pause and recollect themselves. And they they kind of like, they're kind of forcing themselves back into that like guardian mm -hmm. posture again mm -hmm. um and then like okay i'll i will go and see him what is cool. when you say guardian posture whose posture are you taking on i guess maybe more most like zaba mm -hmm. yeah most like zaba like okay. tasia like just kind of straight i would say like driftwood's previous posture now that i'm mentioning it a lot is just a, was a just a slightly more slouched yeah more relaxed Okay. Um, I guess. Are you gonna say ma? I was gonna say thank you. Uh, yeah, I guess before Jeffrey goes in, I, I guess I put a hand on your shoulder. I'm like, you know, this isn't the the this isn't the scallop that we've faced off before. If you want to put your guard down, that's okay too. But if you need, if you feel like you need to be a guardian in this moment, do what you need to do. I appreciate it. Uh, I will just try. I will just try my best. Yeah. Cool. So it's just you, Driftwood, that's going in to talk to Scallop. Yeah, I, I, and I think I, uh, before I go in, I suggest to Zaba and Ernie, like, please enjoy the things that you can right now. Um, if you would like to talk to Scallop, um, let me know. Uh, I would. I just need some time with him alone for a mm. second. Understood. Cool. Want, want me to get some dried jellyfish for you? Yeah. And then cool. Driftwood remembers, uh, finally, in, in their many, many pockets, <laughs> there is the chips um, <gasps> that we got oh, from, yeah. from Alita. Uh, Driftwood kind of holds it and then remembers what's happened to Alita, so it feels a little somber. No. But no. says, like, uh, like, feel free to share this with any of the kids. I'm sure they haven't tasted something like this before. Yeah. Cool. Cool. We'll go and get some festival foods for you. To the two of you head off with Sidon in tow. Driftwood, you enter the healer's hut and Kadana and Tarhun vacates. And Scallop is just lying in the, you know, tub of water, neck deep, just kind of, you know, eyes kind of fluttering. 
And when he sees you, he says, hey, Driftwood. Driftwood. Hmm. Not drifty? <laughs> no. I don't have the energy to call you that. Hmm. <sighs> well, looks like a lot of energy just got wiped out out of you, so. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? I could see how he was treating you all during that whole time you've been here. There's nothing I could really do. I know I haven't been the nicest person to you, but I'm not that, you know? I don't constantly threaten people and exile people. I don't chase people or climb up fishing poles. I don't do that. I can't even catch a fish. That's when I knew it wasn't you. So, <laughs> and Jeff would just laughs. So you look pretty beat up. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. What a what a time to be healing from the neck down on the festival of Mitra. Huh? Kind of ironic, don't you think? A little bit, but you know. It's kind of nice. No pressure. It's, no pressure. I don't have to be someone I'm not. You know how it is. Driftwood tenses up a little bit. Yeah, so what's it like being a guardian? Stressful. I'm definitely not cut out for it. I don't have the ability to think about if we're going to make it next season, all I can think about is you know, the next day, you know, I haven't really learned how to think that far ahead or to be considerate of what people need. And the perks mm. are cool. You know, mask is a bit scratchy, but yeah, your mask seems nicer than mine. <laughs> Classic scallop. Driftwood, but, yeah, looks at the mask. It's pretty neat, honestly. I tried to bite my tongue when I first saw it because it's probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Yeah. And this is what yeah. you've always wanted. Yeah. But I didn't do the trials guardian. like you did. And I don't know, Driftwood. I put the village in danger. Mm -hmm. It sounded I like thought, you needed a lot of help. Yeah, and I thought he could give me that help. But I was very wrong. Yeah. Well, you don't need to worry about any of that right now. All you got to do is focus on your rest. And I appreciate your apology, Scallop. We have never talked like this ever since when we were kids. Do you remember what it was like? I used to throw lots of rocks at you and put a <laughs> lot of rocks in your pockets. Yep. And I didn't learn to dodge until... You know, we started getting older and then I got better. So if I didn't have your friendship, I wouldn't have your adversity and I definitely wouldn't be the person I would be today. Hmm. You would challenge me significantly. I probably would have been worse. <laughs> we have too much to talk about and it'll never feel like we have enough time, but mm -hmm. I feel like I need to check in on the village um, and on, on your behalf, of course. Hmm. I will check on you later today and we'll definitely get you some food if you're up to it but like I said at the moment please just rest and uh, I hope that you will consider us equals yeah definitely so Driftwood just kind of it's kind of awkwardly leaves a little bit, even though you know Driftwood thought they knew what they're saying. Um, but they kind of they they leave without a word just to let um, Scallop rest, and then they feel like like their whole body relaxes. Mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't feel all the way right. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's still a little yeah. bit of like when you try to relax your muscles and mm. they're still really tight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of feeling. Definitely. Like, mm -hmm. 
Definitely. Cracks their neck. <laughs> yeah. So are you, are you going to the festival? Yeah. What's something each of you do during your time at the festival as we approach the feast and into the feast? Because so, I guess now it's everyone's happy. Everyone's dancing and laughing and cheering and there's music <laughs> playing. It's quite a contrasted oh tone. <laughs> um, so I was trying to find dried dried jellyfish, but the food is actually called fried jellyfish. So I end up with like some like dried seaweed. <laughs> like, I'm just wandering around. Just chomping. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, this doesn't taste like what we had earlier, but... I hope Driftwood likes it. <laughs> Anyways, what are you both doing? Where are the? Um, is there like a um, a shrine set up for me? Yeah, to, or down by the beach. Yeah, yeah, down by the beach. There's down one. Down by the beach where the watermelon grows. Anyway, um, uh, Zaba, I think is is down there. You know, you know what Zaba loves a good shrine. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, so so Zaba is um has what what footwear do I wear? Do I wear sandals? I'm pretty sure you're barefoot. Oh, you're right. I am. <laughs> Zaba's kicking around in 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 the water a bit <laughs> by the <laughs> by the shrine. Um, and then we'll we'll see about. I mean, I feel like. I've had my conversations with Mitra. Um, I feel like we're, we 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 have our own we have an accords or we have our own understanding. So Zaba doesn't feel as like a, a need to communicate, but I I do like the I've always liked the atmosphere of um, a shrine or a temple. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, walking around there. And Drifu, what are you doing at the festival? So I am I think that Driftwood feels like the music and all of the performance of it all, but it's kind of like a muted feeling after everything that's happened. Um, and like they feel like people had come up and talked to them, like several different people that we've met up at the bar, some of the healers, some of the children, but it just kind of like washes over them. They're a little dissociated. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think Driftwood is looking for Tasia. Yeah, Driftwood's looking for Tasia at the moment. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, you see her catching up with a lot of people. Mm-hmm. She's spending some time with Zorin and your parents, and she's just, you know, shooting the shit. Yeah, <laughs> so it's this, uh, I think Driftwood sees that she's busy and also sees that they're busy, mm-hmm. and it's mm-hmm. kind of like mirroring them, and it's like, oh, well, I'll go and talk to Tasia when she's not busy, you know, when it mm-hmm. dies down a little, when there's a free time. Um, and I think uh, like an hour goes by where they're just kind of feeling this way. Mm. Um, so they decide to just go to go and check on the house, even though all the festivities have moved away from the shore. Mm. Yeah. The house is cleaned up. A lot mm. of the structural beams have been lashed together to kind of uphold this kind of canopy where there are people up here kind of just like, this is where I think all the food has been staged, you know, mm-hmm. underneath some like braziers. And there's just a lot of delicious looking food and people like talking. Sorry, there's a lot of delicious food and there are people talking up here. <laughs> so there, there are a couple of people hanging out at the house. Yeah. Um, anyone like, are my parents or Beery or Sidon there? Oh, wait, sorry, sorry. The big house or your family house? Oh, family house, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. At the family house, um, your father is tucking in Beery mm. at the moment. Uh, your mom is still at the event. Mm-hmm. And Sidon is sleeping. Okay. So that means um, Angler is tucking in Beery in Ramora's room, right? Mm. Yeah. Okay. So I think Driftwood goes up there just like quietly um, and is like standing with his father in the hallway. Like pretty, it's pretty not so spaced out. Mm -hmm. Um, And then he, Driftwood finally tries to relax again and can't really like relax and takes off their mask and says, 
don't know why I'm so exhausted, Pops. I mean, you're wearing around half a pound of wood on your head. That might do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I bet that would do it. I, man, I really got to wear this thing, huh? <sighs> Not in this house. Come on, let's go. Let's go have a drink. Sure. And you two go downstairs and Angler cuts some sashimi for the two of you and pulls out, cracks open a guava fruit and dices that up and, you know, cuts open a mango and dices that up and just pours you both some like, some like rice beer Mm -hmm. and is just sits and starts munching. Mm. I feel like this is the only quiet time we've had in what feels like years. Yeah, you two are just watching the ocean go in and out, watching it breathe as you munch. Mm-hmm. I think Driftwood doesn't want to say a lot and only wants to just like hang out. Maybe you know let let their dad mm-hmm. lead if they want to say anything. Yeah, Angler does say something. He normally wouldn't, but he does say something, and he says to you, "You know, we were proud of you before you were a guardian." We are proud of you if you are a guardian. And we'll also continue to be proud of you if you decide not to be a guardian. The mask, to wear the mask is a heavy burden. Your friend Zaba would know, and you now know, and you know. There's a reason why the previous guardian of Noro locked all that stuff up ages ago, you know. Mm. It's a lot to bear, and you seem to be doing pretty fine on your own, so... And Angler also kind of adds on to that and says, I guess all I'm wondering, uh, I guess something else I'm wondering as well is, where are you and your friends going to go next? Mm. The Driftwood takes a huge drink (laughs) (laughs) of the beer, the rice beer, and then eats some mango and uh, sashimi together. Wow. That sounds just so good. Le- just lets the flavors like meld in their mouth, melt away. I do think we're about to leave. Father, I can feel it. Um, but it's unnerving to leave, even though we've essentially won the day. Mm. Um And I know that we still have so many problems on here, but I do feel comforted in the fact that in the small amount of time we have been here, so much has changed. So many people have just thought different things. I can feel a little bit of that curiosity coming back in the people that I've had trouble with, especially when I had left. And I'd love to see how it changes for the better coming back again. Mm. And so... I don't know if I've decided if I'm going to continue to wear this mask or what I want to do with the guardian title ship, but I feel like the guardian has come back to Noro in more ways than once. Tyson Pizza is Amaya Worrell as Zaba, Justin Riggifort as Driftwood, Kylo Worrell as Ernie, and myself, Derek Aiello, as The Guide. Cover art is by Gene Young, theme song is by Itamar Ben Zimra, and our sound designer is Brian Kim. You can learn more about the show on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, or our website, DysonPizza.com, or you can check us out on Patreon, where we have lots of behind-the-scenes goodies and uncut episodes and various other things that you can gain from supporting the show a little bit every month. We'll be posting a recap of episodes 1 through 19, as well as a campfire episode where we discuss the miniseries Kairos and these first 20 episodes of Guardians all in one go. It'll be a fun little chit-chat episode before we gear up for the next part of the main show. Until then, you can listen to our miniseries, listen to the main episodes, Until then, tweet at us. We'd love to hear from you. And also tumble at us. We'd love to hear from you. 
So yeah, thank you so much for listening to Dyson Pizza. We will see you soon.